Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Plays Final Fantasy 4. Thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna make our way up to Cutscene! That's right. Hey, it's the Red Wings. Why didn't we do that to Myster Mysteria Mysteria? Mysteria no. Whatever the place is called, god damn it. Oh man. Damson Castle or however you pronounce it. So really learn how to pronounce these names, right? Yeah, Final Fantasy IV is probably... I want to say it's my favorite RPG. It's close. It's my favorite Final Fantasy game. That's for sure. There is no... I mean, six is close. You know, followed by seven. But I played Final Fantasy IV so much more than Final Fantasy VI. And I'm, I'm always looking forward to playing it again. It's just one of those games that has resonated with me for a long time. My eyes, the fire's taking them. Oh, God, where did they take them? Are you a friend? Nah, dude, I'm just an acquaintance. I cannot see your face. Please, don't let, don't let this treasure fall into their hands. Your treasure's kind of crappy, though, to be quite honest. Go down here... He has a lot of secret treasure. An elixir that will come in handy later. Holy arrows that will come in handy a little later. Some eye drops. Antidotes. Ocean. Ether. Phoenix sounds are always welcomed. And gold needle. We did. Whoops. We did get a power bow there, right? Yeah, we did. I don't know why they didn't change the items you get here in this version of the game. Because only one character in this game can equip bows. So getting more than one anywhere, and seeing how this person already starts with a power bow, spoilers, uh, there's no reason to actually get one. So I don't, I don't understand why. You say anything? Dot, dot, dot. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure all these guys are dead and don't say anything. No, I was wrong. They stole the crystal. Airships and fire from the sky. We had no warning. That's usually how invasions work. I'm not gonna talk to any of you guys. Hey, a tent. Sweet. Oh god! Look what they did to the rug! They ruined it! Anyways, let's ignore the dead woman over there. Over here, we have a pot that does sparkly things. Now, it uh, completely heals your health and status ailments. Now, if we go walk into a pillar, now if we go over here, well, there's another pot. More sparkly things, then restores your MP. So if you didn't want to use a tent, you could always wait to getting the castle. But I use a tent anyways. Anna! Oh, Anna! You! You're that bard! You're the one responsible for this! N no, please! All right, Tello versus the Bard. If Tello was any, you know, smarter, he would actually use his magic. But instead, he would like to whack his rod against the Bard's face. You spoony Bard! Please, things are not what you, you believe. Such good music. I see quite well how it is. Oh, how they are. I beg you, hear my words. No, you take this rod. You take it all the way. Choke on your words. It wasn't my televoice, but whatever. Please, I implore you.
know this pain. Anna's pain. But Anna and I... Edward, father, please stop this. Oh, Anna. There's life left in you yet. Father. Edward, he is the prince of Damsian. He just Damsian, Jesus. To avoid attention. Forgive me, father. We're running off with him. Edward. I'm in love with him, father. But I could not stay without my father's blessing. I was about to return when... The Red Wings laid siege to us, led by a man named Golbez. Golbez? Yes. A figure clad in armor of deepest night, his strength beyond that of mortal man. And the Red Wings' purpose? Our crystal. And then they rained fire upon us. I lost my mother and father. Then Anna tried to shield me from their arrows. You love this man that much? Father, please, forgive me. I was so selfish. Edward, I love you. Anna? Anna? Anna! Cecil, don't punch the rug, please. It's already broken. This Golbez. Tell me more of him. I've heard he came to Baron only recently. It seems he is using the Red Wings to steal crystals. Tears do not bring back the dead, boy. Anna's death must be avenged. I'll find this Golbez. Tella, not alone. She was not your daughter. Her killer will die by my hand. Anna. Coward. <laughs> You're a man, aren't you? A grown man. Stop crying. I have. Radia, You're right. I'm nothing but a coward, just as you say. That's why I'm just going to stay at Anna's side. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. You're not the only one who's grieving. Anna would not wish to see you fawning like a fool. Please, I have desperate need of your help right now. But how could I help you? My name is Cecil. A friend of mine has taken ill with desert fever in Kaipo and needs a sand pearl if she is to live. And for that, I have need of your aid. You need my aid? I do. Rosa's life depends on it. I beg you. This woman you speak of, she means a great deal to you, doesn't she? Nah, she's just a friend. As Anna did to me. In a cave far to the east dwells a monstrous creature known as an antlion. The pearls you seek form from the fluid the beast secretes as it lays its eggs in the sand. There is no open route to its den. We must cross the northern shoals to get there. A hovercraft is docked here. With it, we can reach the creature's cave. It can bear us across the surf to Kaipo as well. Come. We must hurry. Prince Edward has joined your party. Farewell, my love. All right, so now we must journey across the river in this hovercraft to find the secretion of an antlion's pussy. It's rather disgusting, and I don't want to actually touch it. But yeah, let's go over here. This is the antlion cave. And in we go. So we're going to go over here first because there's some treasure and we got to fill out the map because I'm kind of OCD about it. Here we have an... What is it called? It's like a... Adam Toys. Is that it? Adamant Toys? There we go. <clears throat> They're weak against ice. I don't really want to use... Oops. Cecil, just get to your other turn. I mean, sure, Edward, you can attack. Ooh, nine damage. <clears throat> You're almost as doing good as physical damage as a uh, freaking Tella. Okay. 
Okay, so let's head down here. There's a few new enemies we have to encounter here. I don't think there's anything relatively rare. But we don't know. We already see that treasure over there? That's weird. Hey! Alright, there's a new goblin enemy. It's, uh... Domo Vio? Domo Voyo? Bad with pronouncing words, apparently. She's thunder. That should clear up all the normal goblins, at the very least. Yeah. I think they were called, like, red caps or... What the hell were they called in the Super Nintendo version? It's been a long while since I actually played that version. The last ver Yeah, the last version I played of Final Fantasy IV was the Complete Collection for the PSP. Definitely a really good PSP game. If you don't own it, I suggest you do. It comes with uh, Final Fantasy The After Years and Inter uh, after that battle, Edward gained a level and learned Life Anthem, which... Uh, Life Anthem is a bard song, obviously, uh, which is one of Edward's commands, and it causes him to pretty much go into a... like a stance uh, where you can't actually do any more moves with him until it finishes that grants the party uh, regen. That's not a, you know... Yeah, it's not like game-breaking regen like in Final Fantasy IX, but it's still pretty good. It gives him something to do during boss encounters. Uh, his damage is never going to be... It's never going to be ground-breaking in this version of the game. In other versions, yes, he becomes quite a powerhouse. Uh, oh, gotta remember to not hit start when I am trying to get to the menu. Okay, that one could have used Kira, but... We're fine with just a normal cure right now. Alright, Rudy and Edward both gained levels there. I actually forgot what I was talking about, so yeah, we can't clear this map just yet. We'll be able to in the near future. And hey, new enemy. Uh, what are these guys? Like, yellow jellies? Yeah. Just use lightning on them. Use the element. That's, you know, the same as their color, and they'll go down fast. Pretty high defense, but the higher the level you are, you know, Cecil can kill them with his physical attack. Yeah, that's the way I wanted to go, over here. Leave. Yes, so this is an upgrade to Edward's equipment. Uh, he can also equip knives, but... Don't bother. Don't bother. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Alright. That's the thing about the map icon. If it's already a cleared room... If it's already a cleared room, then you can see what treasures are still available. And... There we go. Now let's take the long way. Pretty much because we have to. Let's go in here. Should there we go. Antline Den's Basement 1 map complete. Five potions. Very good. And in here is the save point with some treasures in it. Just bypass that lovely glowing circle. Get a Phoenix down. Emergency exit, which could come in handy a little later. And an ether. Alright, so I'm gonna actually use a tent here, you know, save up, and end the episode. So if you enjoyed the video, press the like button below, it helps a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.